Hello again, GLL back for another quick video. Star Wars Battlefront Beta, okay. I played it for a few few minutes. Didn't really play it for any length of time. There's two multiplayer game modes and there is obviously the horde mode. Uh, I got to try all three different things. And to be honest, it's boring as fuck. There's nothing to it. Um, hopefully the other game modes are, are good but the ones I played were just boring Walker Assault is just fucking spam city people just fucking you spawn you die there's literally nothing to it it's complete fucking bollocks the drop pod one was actually a lot more fun capturing drop pods and stuff and defending them that was somewhat enjoyable but again nothing special just your average shooter you know, your average Call of Duty or whatever. Nothing special whatsoever. And it's just it just fell flat with me. Just completely just fell flat. And I'm a and I'm a Star Wars fan, okay? I wanna <laughs> I wanna make that clear. I'm a big Star Wars fan. You know, I have all the old Star Wars games. I've got like well, I've got Rogue Squadron on there N sixty four, I've got Shadows of the Empire. I've got all the Nazi or Republic games, I've got Rogue Leader on the GameCube, Rebel Strike, I've got Star Wars Jedi fucking Starfighter and Star Wars Clone Wars and all that bollocks. You know what I mean? I've got the old Battlefronts. I've just got Battlefront 2 as well, the old Battlefront 2. And uh they're all better than this. This is the biggest rip-off in history. You've literally got... like if This game's coming out with no campaign, full price. And from what you see on the beta, there's literally fuck all to it. It's, it's just... It's not worth the full price. It's complete bollocks. And anybody that defends that shit and says that it is, is deluding themselves. Because you can't justify that price point. You can't. There's not enough content in the game. There's not enough stuff to do. Um, it, it's very mediocre, very boring. It's nothing special whatsoever. If they put effort into it, they put a campaign in, it probably would have been a decent game. I probably would have bought it myself. As it stands, waste of fucking time. Complete waste of time. You might as well go and just give that a miss and just wait and see if they make a sequel with some better stuff. Because that is just not fucking worth your time even if you're a massive Star Wars fan it isn't worth your time because you're gonna get bored of it because it's it's not that appealing and many of you will have played the beta and you've already made your own minds up so because it was an open beta so if you don't like my opinion crack on but I'm just telling you my opinion in my opinion very boring very mediocre could have been anything didn't need didn't, the only thing that makes it Star Wars is the fucking music and the sound effects and obviously the skin. But you take the skin away, you put a Call of Duty skin on it, take away the sound effects, put Call of Duty sound effects in, put Call of Duty music in it. Well, Call of Duty's the hard music, but you it's just a skin. It's just a skin with you know, Star Wars over it. There's nothing special there whatsoever, so Uh, I'll leave it at that guys, that, there's nothing much to say about it. it, it's just a very dull game. There's nothing much to say about it, the horde mode is literally just killing enemies and killing the odd walker. There's going to be more stuff in the actual game but I'm just reviewing the beta so, you know, this is my opinion on the beta. The final game might have more stuff in but, obviously, but it's not going to be enough to justify that full price so. Feel free to subscribe guys, see you later.